like we always do. We're gonna waste no time and get right into it. They want your soul. They want your soul. She want your soul. She want it. She a vampire. Like how Dracula go, they can smell it. They smell the humans, they go attract to them, go take their blood. Like how sharks can smell your blood miles away in the water. She smell that aura. She smell that testosterone. Ooh, alpha. He got a lot of testosterone running through him. Ooh, they want your soul. They want your soul. So what you gonna do? Sell your soul to pleasure? What you gonna do? Sit back and think about it. Oh yeah, you ain't know. They been after your soul. Before you came to this dimension, they been wanted it. They sending all type of sex agents at you. You don't see it yet, do you? You still stuck in pride and ego thinking, oh, I go in public, all these girls looking at me because they want me. They want me. I look good. I'm this, that, and a third. And guess what's really going on? It's the same entity body jumping. It's jumping bodies to different females watching you, stalking you. It's going to do whatever it can to get that energy. It's going to do whatever it can to get that energy, that source that God put in you. See, they don't like the most high so much, but they so intrigued with us. So they're going to do whatever they can to get that God-like juice, that God-like drink. That's their Red Bull. Your testosterone. The secret to becoming a man. The real secret to becoming a God. On top of eating right, fasting, meditation, cleansing your mind, body, and soul. Oh, yeah. They want your soul. Oh, you ain't see them yet? You ain't notice the funny looks in public yet? Everywhere you go, the women are just... You ain't seen it yet? Yo, let me tell you what just happened to me last night. Last night I was chilling with my older cousin, whatever. I'm chilling. I see a female that I tried to holler right back in the day that, you know, she ain't really want to talk to a brother. Now a brother on his path, now a brother on his purpose and his semen retention. Now all of a sudden she's just on me. All in my face. Wanna to touch me, all this other stuff. Why? People around me not knowing what's going on. But when I walk in the room, all the women is on me, all the tension on me. You know why? Because I saved my aura. I saved my life. When I walk through, it's like Goku. We hear Super saying God more. You see electricity around me, all type of stuff. Like, oh God. So guess what they're trying to do? They stalking you now. Like, we got to get him. We have to. We have to keep him asleep or he's going to wake up. He's a problem. He found out the secret to becoming a man. He found the secret to becoming a God. So now all of these females is after and you just thinking I'm the man. Guess what they doing? Draining you. Draining you. Draining you. And now you have sex with her, which is sacred energy exchange. So y'all just exchange energy. So now you taking on her demons. She taking on yours. So she got thousands of demons on her. You just took them in and she just took yours. So now after you ejaculate, you tired, you lay back. And she up and energized. She just fed off of you. Literally, don't let that go over your head. Stop feeding these, man, stop feeding them. OG taught me when I was coming up. OG, my ex-girlfriend, uncle. He said, listen, take your power back. Stop having sex with her. I'm gonna give you a, he said, I'm giving you a jewel that most young niggas never find out or know about. Stop giving her your power. Stop selling your soul to vagina. Get on your purpose. I didn't know what he was talking about. I thought it was a joke. So when you get on this path, an enlightened person told me, the opposition sends his top three demons, whatever you want to call them, principalities, whatever, to watch, stalk, and follow you, to get you off your path. They work in 24 7 because they scared of you. They scared of you. And you scared of yourself. You still sit back watching my videos and getting off my video, going on Pornhub, getting some lotion, and masturbating, and all these entities is coming, stealing your energy. And now they're attaching to you and following you. Now they keep playing psychological tricks on your mind. Read the power of now. Read books from Robert Greene, all these people that's putting y'all onto this. Forget these people. The most high put you onto this. Y'all keep saying the so-called Bible is fake, but I keep seeing nothing but truths in it. Oh, Jezebel ain't canceling your dreams. 
these spirits and incubus and succubus and sex agents and sex deviants ain't come in your dreams yet? You've been having wet dreams, haven't you, since you've been retaining, huh? You've been having wet dreams since you've been retaining, huh? The incubus is shape-shifting, coming in all type of different forms of the type of women that you like to get that energy. So let me tell you how advanced and highly psychologically smart these beings are. They know the type of women you like. For example, I like light-skinned women with a nice little physique. You know what I'm saying? Nice little physique. Nice, long, beautiful hair. Blah, blah, blah. Smell good, look good, feel good. Like how, how I am by myself. So guess what they want to do with me? They always sit in the type that I like to get me to relapse, to try to get me to, to fall into it. And guess what? I know what it is. Pay attention to the soulless look in these females' eyes. They just, yo, when I try to tell you, I can't go around normal females no more. They practically try to rape me. All these so-called bad females, oh, she looks so good. She's a dime. She's an Instagram model. Yo, once you raise your vibration, I don't even want you, shorty. I don't even want you. You'll realize the secret the whole time to getting all these women is retaining. I'm so serious. Guys, last night when I was around that female, I couldn't get her off of me. To the point where it's getting scary. Every time I come around my cousin, we go around females, I can't get them off me. The female came to me and said, it's just something about you. You're not normal. The female that I'm talking about from last night, she said, it's something about you. You're not normal. You gonna mess my life up. And when I tell you guys she was bad, looked so good. But guess what? I look good. I'm the catch. Guys, y'all gotta start having standards. Have standards for yourself. Stop just laying up, having sex when you do release. Make love. And clone yourself and make your seed. If you gonna release, make sure it's a woman that's mentally up here with you. That know these same things that we know. That's in tune with the most high. That know her higher self. If you is gonna release. Plant your seed in good soil. You the farmer. I'm sitting back jerking off looking at these Instagram models that you could be having in your bed like it's nothing. See, semen retention shows you that these women is really your slaves. They're hornier than you. They're made from emotion. You got the power. Yo, let me tell you something, man. Because trust me, I done did it. When you're on this journey, I know a female that's been chasing me over 10 years that still ain't never had sex with me. And she's still chasing. Because I'm on my purpose. And she see the glow. They spiritually see the glow. So you don't understand why everybody keeps looking at you. They spiritually know who you are. They spiritually see the Super Saiyan glow. They know exactly who you is. And they want your soul. And they're going to do whatever they got to do to get it. They're going to send every type of feeling at you to get it. And new levels equals new devils. After 30 days, 60 days, 90 days, they're going to send, man, I'm talking about the top coldest female to the point you like, man, I got to give it. it this got to be God putting her in front of my face. You don't know that, though. You don't. The cat is a trap. Remember that. The cat is a trap. The kitty cat can be a trap. Hold your seat, because once you start liking her, she don't like you. Once you love her, she hates you. That's why they say it's a thin line between love and hate, because love is evil. evil. Love backwards is evil. Evil is hate. It's a thin line. Nobody told you to love her. It's okay to love her. Don't fall in love with her. Don't fall in love with her. When you fall in love, now you in the days and you can't see the charades and games that she playing on you. Now she's like, oh, I want him to be the alpha, be the leader. This dude told me he loved me. Now he not on his purpose. Now he not working out. Now he not eating healthy. Now he not doing nothing he did when I first met him. So guess what? I got him. Guess what? You never seen the story about the strange women in the Bible? And the most High told you to get away from them because they will kill you. If you don't know what you're doing, bro, these women will kill you, bro. This ain't red pill, this golden pill, because we're going to master how to deal with these women. They will kill you. They not playing out here. If you think it's a joke, if you think it's a joke, don't take my word for it. You go do it yourself. 
experiment. You ain't got nothing to lose. Go a week without, go a week without releasing. I guarantee you, this matrix is gonna notice you and shift its attention on you and send them at you. Go two weeks. See how you feel. Go two weeks. It's a lifestyle. See, once you realize that you're not supposed to just give your seed unless you're reproducing, making a life, that's when they turn up. They're like, oh, he woke up. He's, oh, he's trying to wake everybody else up. He's trying to have all these other dudes turn super saiyan. He's trying to make them turn into gods. Oh, okay. Go get his energy. So now the higher principalities is sending all these sexual agents, sexual deviants, the Jezebel, the Incubus, the Succubus, and they hunting you and they smell you from miles away. So what you gonna do? You gonna fight back? How you gonna fight back? You ain't got no testosterone. You ain't got no drive. You ain't got no soul. How you gonna fight back? Man, fight back. Because you can fight back when you raise your vibration. When you raise your vibration. Stop listening to, stop listening to their music or their sexual music. See, let me tell you something, because they can't get in your body unless you allow them to. When you listen to that music, you just said, hey, Jazabel Incubus, come, come in me. Come take my body, because I'm weak. Hey, when you get off all them drugs, this, that, and third, and listen to that music, guess what happened? You just became a portal, and they're way, they're way into this dimension. They just walked in. Now they're looking at you. Oh, okay. Go jerk off. Now in your mind, you're thinking, oh, I need to go jerk off. When I was a whole entity that you can't see telling you to go do that. See, when you're... When you get thoughts, you're really listening to what something is telling you. You better tap into if it's a good entity telling you to do something or a negative entity. You could be possessed by angels and positive entities whenever you're doing something right. 24-7, 365 days out of the year, every minute out of the day, every millisecond. The moment you off your purpose and you're not focused, you will be taken over by one of these sex agents, by one of these whatever that's sent to destroy you. Yo, y'all know the stories about how all these women that destroy kingdoms? You don't know the story? Great men, them fail. Nothing is new under the sun. Everything is repeated. The fact that you're watching this video right now means that you're a chosen one and you're breaking free from the matrix. Because nothing is coincidence. If this video done popped up, you got to make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Not for me to wake your brothers up because I don't get paid for this. This is not for me. This is to help wake your brothers up. That's it. Don't die out here with these sexual agents. Because they after you. You have become the light post. And all the mosquitoes is flying around the light. As soon as you turn the light on or even in the dark when your phone, all these bugs coming towards you. Now you see what's going on. You're the light. They're the mosquitoes. They're the insects. See, it's queens out here. It's ladies. It's women. You got a lot of sexual agents. And they're going to try to get you. And you better be prepared. Don't you get on Instagram looking at them booty pictures of them girls. Don't you get on Facebook and mox on them girls or, or a week ago. I just can't do it. I just want to release. Don't you do it. Because the reason why they're tempting you so hard because you done unlocked something. Any Listen, let me tell you before I end this video. With a one, let me tell you what an OG told me. This one OG. Hard choice, easy life. Easy choice, hard life. If you want to look young and get the glow that you see that I got, if you don't want your body to age literally, you want your hair to be long, your teeth to be strong, everything, don't give in. Because I'm telling you, it's not worth it. I done been attacked by these spirits for years. They don't do that with everybody. So if you're getting attacked by sexual agents, sexual demons, there's something about your energy that's saying you're the chosen one. Because there's a lot of people out here, they're like, oh, no, I don't want that one. I want you. It could be a million people in front of you. They can push all them out the way. I want you. What's up, man? Y'all know who it is. We're going to get right into it. You wondering why you ain't got no motivation, right? You wonder why you insecure. You wonder why you depressed. You wonder why you can't put on muscle. You wonder why you losing hair. You wonder why your testicles shriveled up. You just wonder why you don't feel like the man. You wonder why nobody respects you. You don't even respect yourself. You can't even stand up to yourself. You wonder why you take BS from yourself. What do I mean by that, Jaha? What you mean I take BS for myself? When them negative thoughts come in your mind, I can't do it. I can't fast. I can't work out. I can't meditate. I can't eat healthy. You give into it. You give it life. You know why you doing all that? You know why you hate yourself? 
You know why you got the craziest thoughts in the world? You just got no control of your mind. You got this social anxiety. You just can't do nothing right. You know why? Because you killing yourself. You know why you look so old? You 20, but you look 40. You know why? Because every night, every day, probably two, three, four times a day, you sitting back, masturbating, jerking off, which lowers your testosterone. You smoking weed, which lowers your testosterone. You drinking, which lowers your testosterone. And you're increasing estrogen. And you wonder why you act like a feminine woman. You wonder why you always arguing with your girl, always in your emotions, always in your feelings. You wonder why you ain't got no control over yourself. You ain't got no control over your day. Because you sitting at home, masturbating, beating off, selling your soul to the Jezebel spirit, to the Incubus spirit, to the Succubus, the sec ages, and all the negative energies that's feeding off of that source, that life force. Every time you ejaculate and let that force out, guess what's really happening? Because the veil is over. You can't see. That's because it's a ritual. Entities are coming and collecting that energy and laughing at you. Laughing at you. You wondering why you can't work out. You wonder why you got no power in the spiritual realm. You can't even fight off the negative entities and deities. You can't fight off the, the, the principalities and all these dark forces that's attacking you spiritually. You ain't got no spiritual power. Every time you release that energy, every time you ejaculate, because that's a life. The same way your father ejaculated inside your mother and created you. Every time you ejaculate, you kill yourself. You die. That's why... You look up the definition of masturbating, jacking off, jerking off, whatever. And the Bible is self-destruction. It's self-destruction. That's the real definition. How about that? They're not going to tell you the truth on Jahai Green TV. I'm going to keep it real. Why would I lie to you? I look me in my eyes. I'm not getting paid for this. I'm not monetized on YouTube. Look me in my eyes. It's self-destruction. You're killing yourself. That's what they don't want to tell you. It's a life for a life. It's a sacrifice. That's why you're not supposed to release unless you're making a life. That's why sex becomes bad when you do it for lust. So when you're just beating off, it's crazy. Really picture yourself. You just, it's crazy. And you just threw out a life and you just also killed yourself. Don't let that go over your head. It gets real deep. Then it's just, oh, I'm just watching porn. Let me tell you what porn does to your brain for you guys who don't know. Pay attention. Don't you pause this video. You make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Because our generation... Our generation is sick and they've been attacked and they got spells, rituals, and programs running over the head. Don't you stop this video. When you watch porn, you become addicted to it and you jack off. Guess what it does to your brain? You have worse brain function than someone that's on crack, heroin, methamphetamine, the whole nine, etc. You get what I'm saying? You have worse brain function. Worse brain function. You have the brain of a drug addict, beyond a drug addict. It literally makes you mentally sick. Spiritually sick and mentally sick. You wonder why you can't last in bed. You wonder why your tests are so stripped up. You wonder why you ain't got a deep voice. You wonder why in your presence they don't respect you. You, wonder, you, you, you just wondering why all these things. You're filling yourself up with estrogen. You're making yourself become a woman. Literally. Oh, you don't believe me? All you guys know when you ejaculate, aka bust that nut for you ones who don't understand. When you ejaculate, what happens? Oh, I'm tired. I want to go to sleep. When you're on semen retention, which is fasting from sex, because you want to fast from everything, the negative food, the negative music, you get me? But when you're on semen retention, you up one night. You got this abundance of energy. you like Goku in Super Saiyan God mode. That's how you're supposed to be. But you sitting back playing. You wonder why you're going to get your behind whooped in a fight. It's the reason Mike Tyson went five years without ejaculating it's the reason why muhammad ali didn't used to release it's the reason why all the top athletes do not release especially fighters yeah. mma fighters don't take my word for it look it up i'm just here to wake the ones that want to wake up because you already woke it's just about somebody setting that little spark off don't let society, this matrix, this dimension, this world, this like whatever y'all want to call it. Don't let them feminize you. Don't let them make you feel bad for being a man. Don't let them make you feel bad for being a man. You wonder why you crying every night. You wonder why your girl more masculine than you. You got more estrogen than her. You coming home from work, oh, it's been a hard day at work. You got a bottle of lotion, you just sitting there masturbating. 
messing up your, your body mentally, physically, and emotionally. Take your power back. Stop turning yourself into a woman. Because in a minute, you're going to turn yourself gay. And the agenda is fulfilled because now, once you do that, now you're not reproducing. Your legacy ends with you. It's all population control. You wonder why you can't impregnate women. Your seed is weak. Your seed is weak. Your spirit is weak. You're physically weak. When you talk, that's how you talk to women. <laughs> you the friend that they say, go to the store, bro. Go get us some juice. You ain't the one that the women respect. You ain't got that Goku energy. You ain't like Sasuke and Naruto when they turned up. You ain't like Baki. You ain't that. You'd rather be a woman. And it's women stronger than you. Because it's women that's faster from all this. It's women that's on retention from sex. You want somebody stronger and smarter than you. Man, get it together. It's Jahai Green TV, Triple Six Game. Y'all know what it is. I'm out of here. What's up, YouTube? Y'all already know who it is. Jahai Green triple six gang we gonna get right to it now fellas a lot of y'all been asking me lately jahar what can i do to naturally raise my testosterone what can i do to turn into the beast what can i do to go hawk mode super saiyan broly super saiyan god mode well i'm gonna give you what i personally do i'm gonna give you the tips to what i personally do to raise my testosterone Guys, let's keep it very simple. This should be common sense. You have to stay away from things that raise your estrogen. Yo, Jihad, what you mean by that? The smoking. Smoking lowers your testosterone. Literally. So you have to cut back the cigarettes. You have to take a break from the weed. You have to take a break from the black and mouths. Even me. I'm battling the vapes. None of us is perfect. But you have to try to be better than you was the day before. You have to try to be better than who you was a minute ago. You have to stop drinking all the alcohol. All the liquor. Even too much wine could become bad for you. You have to stay away from things that increases estrogen. You have to stay away from things that increase estrogen because it's going to turn you into a woman. You got to stay away from all the pops and all the juices. Stay away from it. It's designed to destroy you anyway. You got to cut that stuff out. You have no choice if you want to raise your testosterone. Another thing that a lot of people don't know, nothing's wrong with taking hot showers. But steaming hot showers lower your testosterone. A lot of dudes don't know that. Be careful. Stay away from steaming hot showers. It lowers your testosterone. Cold showers raise your testosterone. I know this for a fact. Because I practice it. I practice it. And when that cold water just hits your body, man, I'm trying to tell you. It hits your back. It feel like it's like you feel it activate some type of electrical spark, that cosmic energy. I know I feel it. I don't know about you, but avoid things that lower your testosterone. Another way that I raise my testosterone is drinking a lot of water. That's basically number one. Drink a lot of water. That is a drink from the God himself, the most high, the creator of all creations, the almighty, wherever you want to call him. You get me? But you must drink water. You must drink water. Water is from the gods. You see, the matrix trying to stop me from getting my message out and it's raining, but we're going to still keep going. Peep it. Don't let that go over your head. What's going on right now? You have to drink water. We're made from water. We're made from water. That's your life force. Yo, fellas, let's keep it. Let me keep it all the way honest with y'all. Have you ever noticed you drink a gallon of water, two gallons of water, you wake up, your testicles look fuller and they are fuller. Back then when I was sleeping, they know what's going on. When I used to drink so much water and then have sex with my girl, you got 
big loads because you're drinking all that water and it's raising your life force which is raising your vibration so drink water get into the sun you gotta get into the sun the sun gives you energy the sun gives you energy the sun heals you the sun raises your testosterone avoid all of the fast food all the mcdonald's burger king wendy's you gotta cut it out you have to all the greasy foods all that bs you have to cut it out if you want to raise your testosterone that stuff is designed to lower your testosterone all the candy all the snacks all the chips you gotta cut it out man it's that if you really want results it's that simple you have to cut the bs out your diet you have to you get up in that sun you got to get that energy from the sun moon and stars to raise your testosterone a lot of people don't know that you want to raise your testosterone let me give you a big secret that most people slip on you have to do squats you gotta work your legs OG put me onto that way back then he said listen youngin if you want your upper body to be able to be strong and you want to be able to carry your upper body weight you need some strong legs to carry all that weight up top and he taught me yo it releases your testosterone in your legs to rise throughout your body so I do a lot of squats I ride my bike often because I know I have to release that testosterone that's built up down there that could be a bro science but me personally I does that and it works for me another thing that raises testosterone in my opinion I personally believe you should take natural products that raise your testosterone naturally rather it's a natural testosterone booster fruit you dig me water things that naturally grow from the earth see the difference between us and the steroid users they're using unnatural testosterone you need to use something that naturally raises your testosterone so you won't have no hair loss your testicles won't stribble up you get what i'm saying with it you want to naturally raise your testosterone take products that naturally raise it what is it ashwagandha whatever it's called another thing that raises testosterone because guys don't let this lifestyle make you go crazy some of y'all becoming fanatics relax calm down don't pause this video keeping a bad woman on in your corner a queen keep a queen in your corner i'm telling you it's good for you it's healthy yo my one of my old boxing coaches when i was growing up as a shorty right he put me on he said you notice how when the girls walk in the gym when we boxing and training i just get that boost that burst of energy you just now you want to <laughs> that beast mode coming up or now we, we we bench pressing and all the girls looking at us and now you can just get that extra rep or two or you hitting some pull-ups and push-ups the women watching now you get them extra reps women give off of what is it called like pheromones it works hand in hand with the energy we're giving off with their testosterone we they work hand in hand women raise our testosterone so if you want to get them extra reps one thing I used to do, you might not want to do it because it got me in trouble at the gym. I trained that. I used to have my ex-girlfriend sit on my lap when I would bench press and it would help me get those extra one, two, three. Because we don't count the reps until you're struggling. Me personally, I don't count the reps. Like if I'm doing 20 push-ups, one, two, them don't count. The ones that count is the, uh, uh, you struggling. But yeah, though. So yeah, having a beautiful woman. Having a, a, a woman that you really care about. Just having a woman around you in general increases your testosterone. It increases your testosterone. Another thing that increases your testosterone, a healthy mind. You gotta have a healthy mind. If you wanna increase your testosterone, you have to have a healthy mind. You look good, you feel good. When you looking good, not just physically, but you you good financially, you good spiritually, yo, that raises your testosterone. It raises your vibration. Now you in a happy mood. You naturally got that light. You are the light in the darkness. You're the light in the darkness. 
that simple. So have a healthy mind. Take care of your mind. You have to take care of your mind. Because you program your body. Yo, you have melanin in your skin. And for us males, it has nothing to do with race. If you're holding on to your seed, your manifestation is going to amplify. So tell yourself, I want to be Superman. I want to be that X-Men. I want to be that mutant. I want to be Jay-Z. Not Jay-Z. Pardon me. I want to be Vegeta. Goku. I want to be Super Saiyan. Tell yourself to activate your godlike conscience and tell yourself to tap into the Super Saiyan mode. Look in the mirror because it's a ritual and tell yourself activate Super Saiyan mode. Raise my vibration. Raise my testosterone. Raise my godlike force. Sammy, what you doing, boy? And see what happens. You got to have a healthy mind. Become that visionary. Visualize yourself being ripped already. Visualize yourself having the muscle you want already. Visualize yourself having that testosterone. Take advantage of your manifestation. Take advantage of the law of attraction now that we got this secret out. It's that simple. You be ripped like it's nothing. Like it's nothing. Another way to raise your testosterone another way to raise your testosterone a lot of people sleep on this one you gotta pray oh what do you mean pray prayer doesn't just help you spiritually it helps and protects you physically you get a lot of them toxins out of your body mentally physically and spiritually so when you're releasing the negative energy the negative toxins the universe starts to connect with you again. Once you start getting in tune with the universe, you know your testosterone is raising. A simple way to raise your testosterone is getting in tune with the sun, moon, and stars. Some nights going out looking at the moon. Why do y'all think the wolves go out and they look at that moon? They howl. Or in Dragon Ball Z. Everybody remember Dragon Ball? When Goku had the tail, he looked at the moon. And now he's turning into an ape. He's feeling like so much energy, so powerful. That is a metaphor to our life. It is metaphorically telling us when we look at the moon, we get in tune with the energy. We get in tune with the energy like they did on Dragon Ball. We transform spiritually into a giant. Nothing can stop us. Don't let that go over your head. Like in the show Dragon Ball, the Super Saiyans have the tail. They look at the moon. They get in tune. They turn into giant apes. That is a metaphor for your life. When you get in tune with the sun, moon, and stars, specifically the moons, what we're talking about right now, you spiritually become a giant. So just getting into Mother Nature, just sometimes going out, staring at that water, meditating on that water, and know what you're meditating about. Don't just meditate with a blind cause. Getting in tune with that sun. They show you this type of stuff in shows like Naruto. Avatar, Dragon Ball Z. That's why I love these shows. Baki. Now, another way to naturally raise your testosterone, everybody know, just retain from sex in general. Retain. And have a strategy set up for yourself. So when your urges come, have a strategy like, oh, I'm getting urged. I'm about to go get in a hot shower. I mean, a cold, so a super cold shower. Or them urges come, I'm about to go do a thousand push-ups. Or them urges come, I'm about to go do a thousand squats. Have strategies for yourself to help you raise your vibration and testosterone. So what do I mean? If you know nine out of ten times you're going to get on Instagram and see something that's going to make you want to go masturbate, have a strategy set up against yourself. Just retain Every seven days, what they say, raise like 150% more your testosterone. And don't think about it. Just do these things on a... Basically, let me tell you something. Because this stuff is, is almost common sense. Don't defile your body. What do you mean by that? Don't destroy your body. Put things in your body only with value. Eat things that's grown from Mother Nature, from this universe, from the Most High. Drink water. Healthy life. Healthy life. You good. Healthy diet. Healthy life. Then you good. 
It's that simple. Just live a healthy life. Live a healthy life. Think positive. Stay away from negative people. Stay away from things, once again, that lower your testosterone, like arguing with your girl. That puts you in a feminine state. Or the arguing, or that stress, that's counterproductive works against you. And now you're lowering your testosterone. Because when you got control, see, if some of these dudes say, oh, the higher my testosterone is, sometimes I got, I'm aggressive. No. See, what happens is your, your real side is going to come if... You are an a-hole when your testosterone is high. You've always been an a-hole. If you're a laid-back, cool dude when your testosterone is, is higher, then you've always been a laid-back, cool dude. So raise your testosterone because the man with testosterone always got control. Focus. Solid foundation. Solid form and always control. Always at one with yourself. And I one with your environment. Always in control of your environment. Everything that's moving around you. Always on point with not just yourself and the way you think, but on point with others. Oh yeah. This is another secret that people don't know how to raise your testosterone. Be around people with high testosterone. Your levels are gonna naturally start to raise. It's a spiritual thing. You feeding off of their energy. You take on people's energy. Be around high vibrating beings. You know how they got energy vampires? You could be around energy vampires in a good way or a bad way. You could be an energy vampire around people that's millionaires and pick their brain and find out how to become a millionaire. Feed off of their energy. Or you could be, or you have negative vamp- energy vampires that come around you just to drain you. Be a energy vampire around people with higher levels of testosterone, excuse me, so you can raise yours. Yeah. Feed off of the energy. Get connected with the spirit, but get connected with your higher self. Actual higher self to take over your body. Testosterone gonna raise. Oh yeah. A lot of people do not know that. The testosterone will raise. Staying off of social media. Don't get too crazy with social media and these phones and all that. Because all that radiation works against you. It's it's lowering your testosterone. So guys, you want to basically, to sum it all up, you want to stay away from things that raise your estrogen. It's that simple. You want to stay away from things that raise your stress levels. You want to get quality sleep. I'm going to say that again. It's not about getting eight hours of sleep. You can get eight hours of sleep and not be rested and recovered at all. And then you can get three hours of sleep and be more recovered, more well rested and more energized than what you were from getting eight hours because you got good quality sleep. So you have to have good quality sleep. Good quality sleep. Staying away from things that lower your testosterone. Staying away from things that increase estrogen. Living a healthy life. Eating the right things you're supposed to do. Being in tune with Mother Nature. And it will naturally raise. And I believe I'm a living testimony because a lot of these dudes, me personally, that be saying that they on these journeys, I feel like some of them is just doing it for the money. Some of them is just doing it to be on YouTube because to me, if you're really retaining and a lot of the ones that saying they training, you're going to notice if you hold some testosterone because your pump is going to be more, your pump going to be more crazy. That's another thing. You got to exercise. If you exercise, you will naturally raise your testosterone. Do not forget to exercise. You ever notice, like, after you do a lot of squats, you feel horny? Or after you exercise, after you train in general? Yes. It's raising your testosterone. Yes. Get in tune with yourself. Because some of these questions you're asking me, you can honestly ask your higher self. Get into nature, eat healthy, get quality rest, 
take care of yourself. Stop destroying your body mentally, physically, emotionally, spiritually. Become a visionary. Visualize yourself being that high vibing being. Visualize yourself being that man with that with that high testosterone. So when you walking in the room, all the women are ooh. Yep, you can do it. So then you got that pump. You got that muscle. You get what I'm saying? And they gonna notice. So that's just my personal opinion how you raise your testosterone these are the things i personally do this is jahai green triple six tv also i want to thank all you guys for the support thank you for liking thank you for sharing thank you for subscribing i'm almost at a thousand followers thank you i appreciate all you guys that take the time out to comment on my video i appreciate that Let's keep waking our brothers up in this matrix. It don't matter if you black, white, red, or purple. We are under spiritual attack, and we are going to wake all of the chosen ones up. If you watch this video nine out of ten times, you're a chosen one. The agent's going to come to try to get this information to take it and run back and do what they do, but forget them. If you watch this video, you're a chosen one. So make sure you like share subscribe and even comment because these videos is not just for me i know this information whether i put these videos up for youtube or not this is to help you people the ones who want information the ones who want knowledge the ones who grew up without parents that taught them this stuff or grandparents you get what i'm saying so make sure you show your brothers this because we fighting back in the matrix it's no more just keep sitting back letting the matrix run us and do what it wants to us we got to stick together, brothers. Let's go Super Saiyan together. I want you to get everything that you desire in this world. So stay positive. Keep doing what you're doing. And yes, for the ones that's asking, I am an agent. Because I'm here to wake my brothers up. See, before I end this video, let's get something understood. Y'all not going to scare me on YouTube. Y'all not going to bully me off YouTube. None of that. See, let me tell y'all something. Y'all can call me a devil worshiper because y'all don't understand the symbology of the symbols. Y'all can call me this. Y'all can call me that. But let me tell you something. Y'all did the same thing to the Most High when he came in here, when he came to this dimension in the physical body. Okay. When the Most High came as Jesus or Osiris, whatever you want to call him, and he was raising people from the dead, casting demons out of people, doing, performing miracles, changing people's life for the positive. Teaching people about the most high. What did y'all what did y'all call him? Oh, he's the devil. Oh, he's dead. Oh, he's bad. Oh, and then y'all went and go went to go kill him. So understand something. Understand something. I know what's going on. Y'all didn't even love Jesus. Y'all murdered him. What make you think that I think that y'all gonna really love me and accept me? Are you crazy? I know what's going on. When Jesus was down here performing his miracles, changing people's life, rising from the dead and all that, that's a, that's a devil. That's a demon. He's evil. Anytime somebody is not indoctrinated into this matrix and don't believe the programs and the scripts that you have running over your mind, the spells and hexes that you have running over your mind, they're, they're, they're this, they're that. So guess what? I am an agent, just like on the matrix. Once Neo and Morpheus them, they tapped into what's going on. They was able to jump from the matrix whenever they wanted to so you right for you for you that's asking i am a mate i am an agent you right i'm the super saiyan agent you, you right i'm one of the angelic forces that come from the most high you right i am an agent i came to this dimension to wake my brothers up because i know that y'all spiritually under attack so guys when y'all see these trolls or these negative agents in the comment sections man protect me at all costs burn them up Defend me. If you see any negative energy trying to come in the comments and throw y'all off, man, y'all get in them comments, man, and, 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 and let them know that we not going for it on this channel. This a brotherhood on this channel. Run them people off my comments, man. Put them in their place. Check them people. Because they trying to throw y'all off. You right, I'm an agent. I'm the agent that's here to wake my brothers up. If anything, I'm a fallen angel. Like they say in the Bible, they say the fallen angel descended from heaven. Well, Jesus... 
He came from the heavens. He came down here, fallen angel. Is that what you're telling me? No, we're angels. Spiritually reincarnated in a physical body. And I'm here to wake my brothers up. Number one, a lot of you guys want to put on muscle. A lot of y'all want to be ripped. Just retain your life force. It is that simple. I don't need to go into a whole retain your life force. Every week, you're gonna think, move, and act different. We're naturally raising our testosterone. That's the secret to putting on muscle. That's the secret to being a man. Another benefit, another benefit, your skin, your glow, it's gonna be obvious. Your glow, your glow, you're gonna glow everywhere you go. It's that simple. Another benefit, your confidence, your swagger. And guys, I'm talking to you as a guy that really practices this as a lifestyle, not a challenge, not a 30, 40, 60 day challenge. This is a lifestyle, something my mother taught me. Me growing up spiritual, not committed to a religion, but spiritual how we originally were, it's a natural, normal thing. Your glow is going to be amazing. Your confidence is going to be amazing. Literally, literally, your glow is going to be in your aura. People are going to just see you and want to talk to you, want to be around you. Literally, they're going to attract to you because your energy is so high, it's radiating. It's radiating on them. It's like if it's a dark room and a flashlight just come through and there's a bunch of bugs or whatever, they gonna instantly jump to that light. You're the light. Come on, baby. Come on. Another benefit, your hair. I don't know about you guys, but my hair was never this long. Once I start going on this journey, my hair done got longer. Another benefit, I'm more in control of my emotions. I thought anger was real until I read the book, The Power of Now. Read books, guys. There's a lot of good authors out here. I read the book, The Power of Now. I learned that anger wasn't real. And start understanding what's going on with these principalities that try to psychologically get you here. See, when you think, you're not really thinking, you're listening to either a positive energy or a negative. Don't listen to the negative voice because it's a negative principality giving you thoughts. But that principality, if you're more in tune here, can actually help you. You can learn something. You can take a positive out of a negative situation. You hear what that principality telling you? Now you're on point and you're passing tests and saying like, oh, I knew that you was gonna try to get me to do this or get me to do that. Cause the urges or thoughts you're trying to get me to feed into. Oh, go bust a nut. You don't do it. Now we're sending women at you. Just pay attention. Another benefit, you are going to turn into who you're really supposed to be, who you're destined to be. I promise you, I promise you, it's gonna naturally come to you. You're just gonna wake up and just be on your purpose. You're gonna have that a different energy about you. You're gonna carry yourself differently. A lot of things just won't get to you. You'll be into bigger things, not nonsense. You won't be into all the nonsense and drama and all the other stuff that the matrix this dimension, these robots are into. You'll be like, you'll be content with being alone, with being alone or just being with your girl, just being with your mom, working two, three jobs, grinding for some years straight, not spending your money on nonsense and building towards a career, entrepreneurship, whatever the case may be. You're gonna have that confidence to go start that business, to do YouTube, whatever it is you wanna do. That's, what is going, that's what's going to happen. If you want to be a man and you want to be the big dog, you want to be the alpha, you have to do this. Because guess what? Women don't like nice guys. Now, that don't mean you have to be an a-hole, but you're going to get that natural aggression, which is a benefit. Don't believe in anger. Anger is not real. Use that energy. Tell yourself I'm becoming super saiyan. Just like the Matrix said. When Morpheus told Neo, don't think you are, know you are. Know you're Super Saiyan. Know you the best. Know you can get her. Know you're going to get all the money you need to get. Know you're going to get that money. Know you're going to get the hustle. Know you're going to do what you're supposed to do. 
If you want to be an alpha, stop sitting on the couch, stop masturbating, stop jerking off, stop destroying yourself. Because every time you release that life force, you're killing yourself. Because the more and more you release it, you look older, your skin look messed up, you won't last in bed, your balls be stripped up, you don't got no confidence, it turns you to a woman. You're more relaxed, you're weaker physically. That's why boxers don't ejaculate six weeks before a fight. Come on, man, come on. YouTube, if this video cut off, it's because an agent don't call my phone to stop me from getting the message, but we gonna keep going. Just a fair warning. Know thyself. Another benefit, you'll realize I'm not the body, I'm the soul, but I'm the soul in the body. So this is a transparent living, this is a duality ship. I'm the body, but I'm not the body, because I'm an energy, I'm an essence that's controlling this. Your higher self will put you on the things. And this is a benefit that women, women can benefit from celibacy too. It keeps you younger. It's another benefit, it keeps you young. You don't age like these people because it's a life force. Your life is in you. It's life. You gotta be like Goku and Vegeta and go to the hyperbolic time chamber. You gotta meditate. You gotta do your Kundalini and yoga. But you gotta know when you're doing your yoga and Kundalini what you meditate and whom you meditate and to. Your guardian angels, the most high. The ancestors, whatever the case may be. You don't just meditate and don't know what you're meditating for. You don't just go on semen, this retention, and don't know what you're doing it for. That's why a lot of you guys fail, because you're just doing it because you've seen a YouTube video and you want the benefits just to have women, just so you can degrade them or do something wrong. Nah, it's not about that. Being real, really being red pill, you don't say you red pill. You show it through your action. You show it through your action. They'll know. When you walk through the door, the women will say you're red pill. You don't gotta say it. I don't say I'm red pill, I say I'm golden pill because I'm a master at this game. I'm golden. Another benefit, another benefit. You'll notice I don't have to go to school to be smart. <laughs> knowledge will come to you. You'll notice you're in tune with, with everything. All knowledge, that's how you be able to read people's mind and have dreams before things happen. I don't have dreams of people snaking me, ex-girlfriends cheating on me, and it really was real. So dreams are not coincidences. You'll learn that very soon when you go on this journey. When you go on this journey, everything that you ever done thought or wonder will come to you. Literally. The Bible said, you ask and you shall receive. They tell you the Bible is fake, but see the Bible is only written for the chosen ones, so we can decipher the real from the fake in it. He says, I talk to you in parables. So just because I read something and I understand it, that don't mean you will understand it. See, another benefit of semen retention, you'll naturally be into opening your third eye. But fair warning, be careful when it comes to opening your third eye. Because a lot of these dudes on YouTube lie to you and will get you put into a negative situation when it comes to that energy. I'm just going to tell you that. Be careful. Because you can run into some negative energies, some negative principalities. Open your chakras the right way and really cleanse the body. Really cleanse the body from all hate, all negative energy, all negative thoughts. Get rid of them because it's not real. You'll want to make a natural change to yourself. If you're on semen retention, it's going to show the real you. If you're really an a-hole, it's going to pop out. If you're really somebody that's about peace, prosperity, and want to teach people and help people, it's going to show. It's that simple. It's that simple. When you don't see me retention, you'll learn how to be around a woman. You'll learn how to still have sex with a woman and not ejaculate. It'll be about making her feel good, making her eat orgasm. And you're done. It's not about releasing. You feel like you don't want to reproduce with her, don't release inside of her. It's that simple. It's that simple. That simple. Come on. Let me get to some more benefits. When I tell you, you're not gonna be able to be around none of your friends, girls, because they're just gonna be looking at you like this. That's, I'm so serious. Your voice gonna get so deep when you speak to the women. I literally done had a girl tell me, you done turned me on and made me orgasm just by the vibrations of your voice radiating through my body. Cause my testosterone is high, baby. Let's get it. Y'all know how we do it on Jahai Green TV. We got to keep it real. Come on now. Come on now. This stuff doesn't happen overnight, guys. I've been 
I had parents that done put me through tests my whole life, like a warrior, teaching me. Intense, I didn't have the same childhood as a lot of you people. So I had to learn this stuff, I had to train. I had to learn meditation, exercising, the whole nine. But another benefit, another benefit you will have when you go on this journey, don't use it for a bad thing. The power to tap into energy, you'll be able to send people negative vibes to your eyes, positive vibe. You'll be able to feel if you should be friends with somebody just by the vibe that they're giving off unconsciously. You'll know to stay away from that person. Let's just be real. Everybody had a moment where that certain person walked in the room, you like, you feel they vibe? You like, nah, let me back back. It's the reason Kendrick Lamar made that song, Don't Kill My Vibe. Don't kill my vibe. People try to send you negative vibes. If they beat you spiritually, they beat you physically. Once they got you here, they got you. You'll be able to be in tune with the vibes. You'll be able to be around some people and feel peaceful energy. And then you, once you become advanced, you'll be able to send off negative vibes to people. And they may not know what's going on. One thing you have to watch when on semen retention is your manifestation. You manifest anything, but don't you don't want to ne manifest negative things. Because it gets so deep that you can start meditating and manifest that's negative thoughts towards somebody and curse them by accident you have to know how to channel this energy see they lied to you when they told you jesus christ or osiris whatever you want to call them i'm gonna say that god or the most high when he came into a physical body they lied to you when they said he was the only one that can do it and he then told you guys step by step how to do it he told you they basically said he was the one and only to discourage you from trying to become perfect. You are, you're already perfect. Like Morpheus said, don't think you are, know you are. Don't think you are, know you are. Come on now. You'll naturally be the leader. When you speak, your woman will look at you. A lot of you guys, y'all don't notice that when y'all talk, your woman not even paying your attention, she's on her phone, she's not taking you serious, she huffing, she puffing. Nah. You don't gotta demand respect when you're on this. It will naturally be given to you. When, she, when you speak, even if you speak it to people in public, your friends, she'll be looking at you. Like the admiration, like this is my man, I'm happy to be with him. When you're in public, you'll motivate people in a positive way. I have so many people every day coming to me, Shaha, how do you do this? How do you do that? You need to make a YouTube channel, you need to help people. So that's why we're doing it. You don't gotta tell people, oh, I'll do this, I'll do that. They'll see something that's different with you. If you wanna become Super Saiyan, you wanna become like the X-Men and become that mutant that you really are, yeah, tap into that sixth sense. 